You posted a couple of tweets uh, immediately after the fight. Uh, let's look at this one. People need to understand why DC was so hurt by the outcome of the fight. The loss means he was never really champ. It only had the title because of John's absence. Now, that got retweeted 757 times, so nicely well, done there. But, I mean, and it's true. I mm -hmm. mean, the fact is that John lost his title to the fact of his behavior outside the cage. No one took it from him. And so basically it was a vacated title and Daniel took over as the number one contender, got to fight the number two and, you know, and then had the belt. But the problem is that before he had the belt, he was beaten by John mm. and then got the opportunity to have the belt in John's absence after already losing to the champion. So then that already cast doubt. Had they never met each other, then there may be some validity that he was the champ at the time. But then what happens is John basically his his fights and wins over Daniel bookend his reign as the champ. So John kicked his ass before he was the champ, uh, Daniel, and then Daniel ran as the champion. And then now that John came back and was able to fight again, uh, he goes and knocks him out. So I think it just it, it makes it hard to make an argument. And I think that you know the the critics and the naysayers were always kind of biting at, at daniel's ankles saying that like well you're not the real champ you're not the real champ you know and daniel here he, he, come on the guy's worked really hard he has an accomplishments that a few in mma ever have had or ever will have and now he has to sit there and go shit man like they're right you know what i mean like how do you you know like you know you could get some people that just feel for you and want to be like oh a boy no you were the champ you you held it well and represented it but i think i think deep down inside the problem is, is that daniel feels it like wow well, you know, he even said it he goes well there's no rivalry he beat me twice i mean you could see how crushed he was he realizes that he now is the perpetual number two like you know that that shadow he thought he could get out of he, he is never going to get out of now. Now, we, we don't have time to go through all 244 comments on that tweet, but uh, I will tell you one that jumped out to me as I was reviewing them. You know, somebody had made the point that, well, maybe that's too harsh because Daniel did win a vacated title. He beat Anthony Johnson for that and then defended it, right, and uh, several times. And so I, I will go so far as to say that, I mean, I see him as a champion. I think that the, the, it's sort of like this, in my mind. If Jones, let's say, had been out due to some severe injury, um, and that's why he couldn't be, you know, like what happened to you when you had the title. If it was something like that, I think you could still perceive that person as, as a champion, especially if they were able to defend it a few times. But it you still have not beaten John. So I saw it as I, – I, I saw both being the case. Like, I see him as a champion. I just see him as not being able to, um, I guess, answer that question. Of course, now after last night, we do have it answered, which was he couldn't beat John. Right. So, so it just makes you feel about, like the guy's never – you never would have been the champ if it wasn't for what John did. Yeah, I mean, sort of like, you kind know, of like if, you, if you remember when Michael Jordan went and played basketball for a couple of years, and I think the San Antonio's – here's my random uh, – You mean played baseball? Baseball, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, like, yeah, went, I'm aware that he played yeah, basketball. Right, right, right. No, when he went off <laughs> – He's pretty good at it, right? Yeah, yeah. When he went off and played baseball for a few years, you know, that was something that uh, I – the teams that won – I think one of them was the Spurs, if I'm not mistaken. I, I need to be careful because I know zero about basketball, so uh, I, I don't quote me on that. But, but whatever the team was that had won the title during his absence, that was the immediate thing people were saying. Well, of course you did because he was wasn't around and that's fair i mean you know if you if you really want to answer all questions then you do it uh you do it when uh when when jordan's playing but at the same time i i guess i give him credit as 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 being a champion and i'll i'll, I'll tell you this you know you were talking about what's next for him this is gonna sound cynical but uh if i were daniel cormier i'd go ahead and get back into training win some more light heavyweight contender fights because you don't know what's going to happen with John Jones. No, true. I mean, in, in a year or two, who knows what spot we're going to be in with yeah, him. It, John might, title you know, might be available again. John has been known to shoot himself in the foot. We'll you know. see.